Hello everybody, I'm back at it. It's another beautiful day in Niagara Falls. Today is a Sunday and I purchased this on Wednesday a few days prior. I post, I recorded video of the day I picked up the, the vehicle and uh, posted that on YouTube. That went well, um, the video came out pretty good. And the next day I went out on a pretty decent ride, maybe a hundred mile ride and recorded some incredible video and I was really excited about it. And when I got to my destination, I realized that my GoPro battery had conked out at some point on the ride, but I didn't know where. I was very frustrated, needless, needless to say. When I got home, and, and bear in mind, I'm just learning this whole GoPro um, SD card, uh, battery, all this stuff is all new to me. But I get home and I realize that most of the video that I took was intact and it was just the last stretch. Now that last stretch was the best stretch in terms of the uh, scenery. Um, the ultimate destination was Ellicottville, New York, which is this cool little village that I wanted you to see. You will see it. We will be back, believe me. We'll be back when the weather is nicer and the trees are in bloom. We'll be back in the fall um, when the, the trees are just a spectacular array of reds and yellows and all the rest of it. But anyway, I managed to cobble these various video clips that I took on the GoPro together into what I thought was a pretty nice video that I thought you'd be interested in seeing. A lot of commentary on my first real ride on the Spider um, on day two of owning the Spider. Um, lots of commentary on minimalism. And so why am I mentioning that? Well, when it came time to um, upload the video, and for those of you who, who just watch YouTube and aren't in this video posting world, this might not make a lot of sense. Those of you who have your own channels, you're going to chuckle at what a novice I am, but you'll, you'll be very familiar with what I'm, what I'm talking about. Um, I was basically uploading footage from my GoPro camera to the GoPro app, then from um, the GoPro app, to my photos section on my phone, then from that to the iCloud, then from the iCloud back to my iPad, and then I'd edit it on iMovie and then upload it to YouTube so you could enjoy it. Well, um, somewhere along the line, my iPad was failing and it was giving me mixed messages. And I think it just came down to the iPad, which was just a basic iPad not having enough memory. So I go to the Apple store now. So I buy this machine, the Spider, on a Wednesday. I go to the Apple store on Friday um, to try to fix my problem. And I ended up trading in my iPad 10, which is a generic basic iPad, for a MacBook Air. Now I've had MacBook Airs before, but it's been years since before I became a minimalist. And as a minimalist, I just had two devices, an iPad and an iPhone. And, uh, okay, so just to put things into perspective, um, we're leaving the city of Niagara Falls. This is Niagara University. The Niagara Gorge is straight ahead. Um, and right there you can see, the if you can see it, the GoPro does not do well with um, distance, but we I'm looking directly at, and my naked eye can see perfectly, the Queenston, uh, the Lewiston-Queenston Bridge, which crosses from Lewiston, New York, to uh, Canada. Now, on... Our side, we're about to travel over the um, NIPA New York Power Authority Dam. And on the other side, the GoPro is right now aimed directly at the uh, Sir Adam Beck Dam, which is the Canadian version of this, of, of, of the dam. Now, I'm gonna stand up here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I am looking at the Niagara River, um, the Niagara River, the Niagara Gorge. There's Niagara University right there. Um, it's a beautiful university. Um, we're heading to the village of Lewiston. And it's a cool village. Um, we're gonna just do a drive through. This is not gonna be a long video. And unlike my other videos, this is actually a cool attraction, the Power Vista, that the New York Power Authority operates. Um, it's kind of a little uh, like better, 
better understanding of electrical power and whatnot. This is the channel, if you can see it, this is the channel where the reservoir that I talked about in my last video pumps water out of the Niagara River to the reservoir just beyond that wall there through that channel and it comes out right here. We're on top of a dam right now and that what we're on top of right now is the largest um, electrical producer, hydroelectric producer in um, the state of New York and I, maybe even the Northeast. And it powers uh, electricity for all over the Northeast. And again, there's the Sir Adam Beck Dam there, if you can see it. I do not want to kill us. Uh, um, I want to have a nice ride today. But anyway, I'm trying to accomplish... I'm, I'm jumping from topic to topic and I apologize I'm prone to do that but back to the technical issues um, so I bought an, uh, a MacBook Air and um, I hate it the ecosystem for MacBooks is totally different from iPads which is the iOS system which to me is an elegant simple and I'm a simple guy I'm not a tech guy um, some of you are probably chuckling at me, what a fool, he likes the iPad better than the MacBook, that's impossible. Well, I do. So, um, I spent this weekend on the verge of a nervous breakdown because of that MacBook. Um, if it weren't for the, the local Apple stores at the, um, Galleria, the Walden Galleria Mall, it's going to be pretty busy today. It would have been pretty busy yesterday. Today is a Sunday. So I'm going to go Monday morning, tomorrow morning to change out the MacBook, the MacBook Air, for an iPad Pro. And I think that will give me the power I need to edit these videos and give me the simplicity I need with the iOS software. This is the Niagara Falls Country Club to our right, and we're about to, right there, so we are about to have a great view, which on, it, on some days you can see Toronto from here. Now. It's hard even with the naked eye, but yeah, I can see Toronto. You'll never be able to see it with the GoPro camera, but if the camera is facing Toronto right now, it's like exactly pointed at Toronto. We're gonna go up to Fort Niagara, not today, but at some point, and it's a great uh, little park in New York, uh, New York on the corner of Lake Ontario and the Niagara River. Um, the Niagara River empties into Lake Ontario, and the fort is an historic fort, and there's a neat state park there. We're not going there today, but so anyway, I've had an abundance of technical issues and the, the way I view this YouTube channel is I'm in a learning stage right now. Some of you have commented that I'm doing a decent job with the video and I really appreciate that. You're very kind, but I'm not at all happy with where I am in terms of my skills. I'm hoping to hone those skills over the next couple of months so that this summer and this fall when I really put this thing through its paces and do some you know distance riding and, and see some cool places that I know what I'm doing so that um, okay so now we're entering the village of Lewiston so that uh, the videos are more enjoyable I don't have a nervous breakdown putting them together and uh, God bless America so anyway the video that I cut um, where the battery went dead that I that I managed to put together and cobble together still exists It is now on in iMovies on my iPhone and what I'm hoping is that when I get my iPad Pro I'll be able to figure out how to move it to the iPad Pro and Maybe there you go. I hit the uh, the horn instead of the shifter. I'm still learning this thing I'm now at 222 miles, so I'm still on the learning curve um so we are, we are now entering the village of Lewiston. It's a cool place, lots of festivals when the weather's nicer. Um, really nice streetscape, lots of restaurants and shops and bakeries and all the rest of it. It's a nice place to come. If you do, if you're not, if you do not live in Western New York, but you do travel to Niagara Falls, and a lot of people come to Niagara Falls from all over the world, you might want to put Lewiston on your list of things to see while you're here because it's pretty cool. So anyway, um, that video that I cut, I spent a lot of time giving first observations, kind of a first ride observation of the spider. Um, and uh, I'm gonna give this guy wide berth so he knows that uh, I see him coming. Lots of uh, observations on the spider, lots of explanations of minimalism and uh, 
how I happened upon minimalism and what minimalism means to me because it's different. It means different things to different people. Some people confuse it with fr frugality. There are parallels between minimalism and frugality, but they are not the same. Um, not at all. I'm going to cut a whole video on, you know, what minimalism means to me and um, and how I, I got into it. I covered a lot of it in the video that I can't seem to upload to YouTube, but, uh, oh well. So we're passing lots of cool restaurants. I don't want to hit this guy. Um, this is a, a favorite of mine, Brickyard, uh, Brick, the Brickyard Barbecue uh, restaurant to our right is a great restaurant if you like barbecue, and this Village Bake Shop is a great place to walk across the street and uh, get a nice dessert. They do a great job. So we're right now on Center Street, which is kind of Main Street in Lewiston, and we're about to head down the hill to head to the Lewiston waterfront. And uh, again, I said this was going to be a short video. This video, um, I'm actually not editing. I'm not um, going to, um, you know, usually you cut multiple videos and you cobble them together. And then you splice and you cut. And uh, that's a cool house up there. Um, but I'm not doing that. I started when I was on Hyde Park Boulevard in uh, Niagara Falls. I'm ending it in a little bit. Um, but uh, I'm not going to. I, I think this will be an easy video for me to post regard, regardless of my technical incapacities simply because I'm not doing a choppy thing here. So we, so anyway, we are now at the Lewiston waterfront. Um, this is a beautiful place to come. Um, this restaurant um, right here is called The Silo. And if you're not from Western New York and you come to Niagara Falls, put the silo on your uh, bucket list or your list of things to, your list of places to eat when you're in the area. There's a lot of them, but this should be one of them. Um, so this here used to be um, a coal silo, a silo where they would put coal and the mouth of the Niagara River is just a few miles up ahead. Um, steamships would come from Toronto, cross Lake Ontario, and come here and they load up with coal here. They, so they disembark and embark passengers and whatnot. Um, so anyway, this set uh, vacant for years. Someone came in, they did the environmental remediation, they built a restaurant, they are, they do a great job. That little caboose that you see there, I hope you can see it, is their little ice cream shop. So you, the idea is you have a lunch or dinner here and then you come and you have dessert there. It's a great place. What I'm going to do is walk up to the um, Lewiston waterfront and there's just a couple of things I want to talk about. But one of the things I'm going to do is on my last video, you may or may not have seen it, I talked about how the spider creates a racket when you shut it off. Um, if you don't hit the parking brake. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So first of all, you might not be able to tell, but we are on a slight in, uh, a slight um, incline, uh, decline, I guess, down a slight hill. And for those of you who ride motorcycles, you know, I rode adventure bikes, sport touring bikes, not never har heavy Harleys, but even with those bikes, particularly because you sat up high, um, parking like this, it, it would be a very like difficult challenge to back the bike up because you're doing you don't have reverse you're doing it with your feet and it is such a blessing to pull in with the spider knowing that I just put it in reverse first of all this thing weighs double what my motorcycles have weighed this is a, a thousand pound machine um, secondly you've got the floorboards which would make it difficult and you've got the two front wheels you'd be kind of rolling into your feet but the the idea of having a reverse on this thing is a blessing but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the key off right now without hitting the parking brake. And listen, when I talk about a racket, you'll know what I'm talking about. Those of you who own a spider, you know this already. But those of you who are who are are not familiar with spiders or you're thinking of getting a spider and you've heard about it but you don't really understand what it means, what we mean when we say it creates a racket when you shut the parking the the vehicle off without the parking brake, this is what happens. And that sound goes off for 20 seconds. I don't like the fact that the windshield's going up and down every time I shut this off, but oh well, we'll talk about that another day. I'm, I'm gonna let this cycle through. Now, here's my problem. The parking brake 
is off. So you think, well, big deal. This is kind of a flat surface, but it's not. So what I'm going to do now is my foot is on the brake pedal. Okay, so we're not rolling. But, folks, I'm telling you right now, if this was just slightly more inclined, it would roll. And I've experienced it. Shortly after I picked this up at the... Um, at the dealership on Wednesday, I stopped for lunch before I cut my the main part of my video. Didn't put that in the video cut because I cut it out. But in that parking lot, the vehicle was rolling on me, and I was not ready for that. So um, I think I can get off this vehicle, and it's not going to roll. If it does, my nose might hit that uh, a little bit. But uh, I'm going to take my phone and take the key. Okay, so. I'm going to be brief here. I just want to take you up to the waterfront. But there are a couple of things I, I just wanted to talk about. One is um, on Monday, April 8th, the solar eclipse is, is passing by. And the solar eclipse, the path of the solar eclipse is coming right over Niagara Falls. We are going to have, isn't this beautiful? So this is the lower Niagara River. Um, and there you can see the silo that that is the reason for the name, the Silo Restaurant. Um, anyway, back to the solar eclipse. It's coming right over Niagara Falls. So even though April 8th is before our traditional tourist season, we are going to be mobbed with tourists. The hotels have been sold out for weeks. They charged like 10 times what they normally charge, which is natural. That's supply and demand. I get it. Um, but... The, the reason why I mention it is I am going to give you the perspective of the solar eclipse on a Can-Am Spider. We're going to ride around. Now, all police agencies in the area, and I, I imagine this is happening throughout the entire path of the totality of the, of, the, of the solar eclipse, but particularly here because people come here anyway to visit Niagara Falls, we, we know because of the hotel occupancy it's going to be mobbed. There's a concern about roads. Now, I am not going to drive right up near Niagara Falls, the, the state park, because that is going to be as congested as you, like it's going to be maniacal. I do have a concern, and the sheriff's department and, and the other police agencies have a concern that it's, it's going to be crazy like that throughout like the whole area, which means I might end up sitting, be, I might end up sitting in a traffic jam when the eclipse happens. But here's the thing, you're going to get a perspective on that video of me um, riding the spider or being on the spider during the eclipse. And so we're going to go from broad daylight. Hopefully it's a nice day. It's a daylight today, beautiful sunshine. And then in the afternoon, it's around two o'clock. I've got the exact times, so I'm, I'm prepared for this. But at some point in the afternoon, it's going to start to get dark what's called the partiality, I guess. And then there's going to be the totality where it's completely dark because the moon is blocking out the sun. Then that'll only last like a couple of minutes. Then we go back to partiality for a couple of minutes and then it's broad daylight again. And I just think this is going to be fantastic. Now, I am not going to shoot, I'm not going to video the eclipse because the reason why I'm not going to do that is every news station in the world is going to be showing you that. There are going to be thousands, countless YouTube videos showing you the solar eclipse. So I'm not going to add any value by looking up, putting the special glasses on, looking up, risk burning out my GoPro or burning out my uh, iPhone camera. I'm not, I'm not worried about looking up at the eclipse because I'm going to watch it on the news or I'm going to watch it on a YouTube video, maybe your YouTube video. Um, but anyway, I just wanted you to know that that's going to happen on Monday, April 8th. Hopefully by then I'll have my uh, stuff together in terms of video production so that I'll be able to put, put together a nice video either on the 8th or shortly thereafter, maybe on the 9th. Um, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm, I'm going to sign off right now. I just want to thank you if you've watched this video to this point. I really appreciate it. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like the video. If you have any commentary, please comment. But most importantly, if you'd subscribe to this video, um, I sure would appreciate it. I do not think this channel will ever be at the point of monetization um, because that takes a lot of likes and I mean a lot of um, subscribers, a lot of watch hours. I'm not doing this for monetization anyway. So to me, that that's not important. But I do want to do this for people's enjoyment. I'm doing it to chronicle my adventures, but I know just from the, the initial feedback that I've already gotten, there are some people out there that are into this, that are into the adventures, that are into the spiders, minimalism. I'm going to cut lots. I'm going to talk about minimalism on um, 
most of, if not all of my videos. I'm gonna cut a couple of them on minimalism, like that'll be the main topic. Spent a lot of time talking about it on my last video, but any, but anyway, my point is, I appreciate your support, and by supporting me, you can just hit that uh, subscribe button, and I sure would appreciate it. Thanks so much, and uh, have a great day. We're signing off from Niagara, from Lewiston, New York, in Niagara County, New York. Thank you.